I was going to do a round over here. I'm actually really liking the way this uh, chamfer looks. And it kind of goes with the base better. Plus it's like 90 degrees in here. And this will save me some work with the hand plane. So yeah, I'm gonna go with that. trying the uh, shellac before paint trick, which is supposed to seal the grain before you paint and give you a more even paint job. So I've never tried it before, but I've heard good things. So I figured this is a good project to try. It is 90 degrees in here, at least. And I'm not having fun. This is my new table saw, and it's a saw stop job site saw. And some of you are probably thinking, oh, for that money, you could have just bought like a full cabinet saw, a really good quality cabinet saw. But uh, for two reasons, I went with this saw. Number one is the size. It doesn't take up too much space in my shop, and since I do other things other than woodworking, I didn't want you know half my shop to be taken up by a tool that's only for woodworking. And then number two is of course the safety. The major safety feature of the saw stop, if you don't know, which most of you know, if your hand ever touches the blade, it uh, senses flesh and stops the blade, retracts it almost instantaneously, giving you a minor scratch to nothing rather than a major trip to the hospital. And if you're thinking it's not worth the price, well, you, you know, you should see my insurance and you would see that it's a good investment.
There's a new saw. It's working out great. And I'm not gonna go through all the features of this saw because there are a million reviews of it and I'm not trying to sell you anything, obviously. It's just a saw that I chose. Uh, I love the fence. And it's been working excellently with the dust collector that I made, the cordless dust collector. Okay. Um, so now the question is why did I just build a stand? It has a perfectly good stand here. And this stand that it comes with is excellent. Um, it's very mobile, you can fold up the saw, but it's designed for a job site. And this is going to be used within my workshop. So I don't need that level of mobility. And um, that level of mobility requires, you know, this frame to be sticking out on both ends. Really, it's just to save that space. I want to be able to walk through the left side of the uh, saw easily and walk all the way around my saw and out view table without having any obstacles. So that is why I have made the new stand. It's also gonna lower it a few inches. So I had to make these feet like this so they can pivot because the uh, floor is really uneven. So obviously I put a door on the side here to clean out the cabinet, um, but with the dust collector, not much sawdust is actually ending up in the cabinet. And I wouldn't recommend a wooden cabinet like this without a dust collection system because that could be a real fire hazard if you have a pile of sawdust under a power tool in a wooden container. So yeah, that's it, a little simple project, but um, now it makes this new tool even more useful to me. I've got open space on either side. It's still mobile. Um, the feet take a little bit of time to move up and down, but they work great because this floor is so uneven. I can make this level and stable anywhere in the shop that I need to, while still having the mobility of the wheels. So let me know what you think and uh, whether or not you would do something like this or what kind of table saw you want in your shop. And yeah, thanks for watching. Oh, <laughs>